Don't let him get in! Stop, stop! Go short. While police are typically the ones providing assistance, there are instances when they find themselves in need of rescue. Here are four times officers have been saved by good Samaritans. Starting with this pregnant cop who was seriously in need of a savior. 10 for MA location. I'm going um gonna be going south on 63. We're almost to I-25. If somebody can set up some spikes right there. A New Mexico state female police officer was called right to now. investigate a vehicle theft of a white Lincoln SUV. While driving south on State Road 63, the officer the noticed the suspect Stephen Jimenez driving in the opposite direction. Following this, Jimenez drove directly at a Ford truck, forcing it to come to a complete stop. 146 income. He has. There's a biker! No! He just. Oh. Jimenez cut off his ankle monitor that he was ordered to wear and was considered a domestic violence related suspect. During the chase, Jimenez drove head on toward vehicles, reaching speeds of over 90 miles per hour. He forced a second vehicle off the road without using brakes and intentionally did the same to a third vehicle. But the officer never expected what he would do next. Jimenez turned violent and shattered her windshield. But fortunately, a vigilant nearby driver noticed what was happening and intervened. The man stood firm against Jimenez, maintained his grip, and successfully held him on the ground. Shortly afterward, backup arrived, and Jimenez was taken into custody. Stop resisting! Just let it go! 10 4, he's not going to take Old Denver Highway. He has a tire iron. Jimenez has been charged with nine total counts three counts of aggravated assault of a police officer, another aggravated assault and battery charge, resisting and evading police, property damage, along unlawfully taking a vehicle. He attempted to hit a person on a bike. 146 cent come. There are more people on the bikes. I'm going to hit him. Head on. He will be held without bond. Encounters like these shed light on the challenges law enforcement faces to ensure our safety. The suspect in the next case had even more tactics to outsmart the police. Tulsa police approached two people for questioning near 8th and Denver Avenue, a suspect later identified as Miguel Hernandez. Initially using a false name, David, Hernandez aimed to escape facing felony warrants for various charges, and he was ready to seize the next opportunity available to make his escape. Hernandez made a run for it, thinking he could get away, but he was met with a rather unexpected encounter. Go short. A truck driver wearing a bright orange shirt intervened and tackled Hernandez, allowing officers to apprehend him. The Tulsa police expressed gratitude to the driver for his support and emphasized the importance of personal safety when dealing with suspects. Miguel Hernandez faced charges of burglary, conspiracy, larceny, and illegal firearm possession, along with new charges of resisting arrest and possession of drug paraphernalia. The next female officer couldn't own up to her actions and was in greater need of assistance. On September 10, 2022, a female police officer in Willoughby, Ohio, pulled over David Kobeck for speeding. However, Hello. she quickly realized Officer this Ryan wasn't an ordinary traffic stop. Speed, 57 and a 35. You're going 57 and a 35, sir. You have a driver's license for insurance. Why are you getting out of the car, sir? My driver's license. 12 radio, this male just stepped out of the vehicle. Step over here now. Have a seat on the ground. Have a seat. I'm not sitting. I'm not sitting! Instead of calming the situation, the officer's unconventional order to the already on edge Kubek left him uneasy. Unfortunately, her subsequent actions didn't improve the situation either. Kobeck refused commands, engaged in a physical struggle, and seemed to be overpowering the officer until a good Samaritan came to her rescue. 
Officer Wright suffered minor injuries and was taken to the hospital, while Kobeck claimed his actions were due to a bad day and denied intending harm. But that didn't stop him from being charged with assault on an officer, resisting arrest, speeding, and failure to wear a seatbelt. While Kobeck admitted his wrongdoing, the same couldn't be said for the next suspect. Looking for a guy that had a gray shirt, but he had something else on the front, so thanks. No, you're good, thank you. Officer Austin Williams conducted a welfare check at Provo's Sam's Club in Provo, Utah, where Emiliano Medina, appearing disoriented, approached the officer seeking water. How you doing, man? Hey, somebody called and said they were worried about you, said you were asking for water or something. The situation intensified when Medina gestured a gun motion and tried to seize Officer Williams's firearm, leading to a confrontation. Sorry? Hey, don't touch me, dude! Come here, get on the ground! Get on the ground! An attentive individual in a white t-shirt noticed Officer Williams struggling with Medina and quickly intervened. forcefully slamming Medina to the ground. The timely intervention prevented Medina from escaping before backup arrived. Medina was found to have meth in his system and faced multiple charges, including assaulting an officer. If you liked this video, YouTube thinks you'll like these videos.